Do you want to put your website in maintenance mode? A lot of times it's much better to put your website in a maintenance mode where you can tell the users that you're aware that your site is in maintenance mode instead of an ugly broken site when they come to your website. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to put your website in maintenance mode and we'll cover two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. If you find value in this video, please give it a like. It really does help out. And all the links I talk about, you can find them in the description below. So let's dive in. Now, as an example, this is my site and I want to put this in maintenance mode. So to do that, I'm going to head over to my dashboard. And the first method we're going to use is we're going to install a plugin called Seedprod. Now, Seedprod doesn't just do maintenance mode, but they do it very well. They also can set up a coming soon page. So if you're just getting started with your website, you can set up a beautiful coming soon page where you can collect emails and, and things like that. It also is an amazing landing page. So you can do sales pages, thank you pages without making it leave your site. To use the maintenance mode, you can use their free version and I'll show you how to set that up. If you wanted to use more of the functionality of Seedprod like landing pages, you can head over to seedprod.com, set up an account and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Seedprod. But to just get started, we can head over to plugins, add new, and you would want to search for Seedprod. We'll install now. Make sure you also stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, once it's activated, we can have head over to the left to pages. Once you click on pages, you'll see all of the types of modes that we can do. Coming soon mode, that's perfect if you're just getting started. And from here, we can do maintenance mode. So we will click on the maintenance mode, set up a maintenance mode page. And from here, you'll see several different templates that you can choose from. If you want, you can start with a blank template or if you just want to do a real simple one. But you can scroll through here and see all of the other templates that they have. And these templates grow every day. So for this one, I'll just choose this one, be back maintenance mode. And from here, we can set it up and change it out. Once you pick the template now, you can customize it however you want. They have amazing little blocks that you can add and it's simple drag and drop block editing style. You can delete these things, you can move them around however you need to, and so much more. You can even do block settings and then it'll come over here where you can make changes to the site. You can save the block. You can even duplicate the block if you want other items on there. So very cool features. And then under blocks, under the main ones, you have some advanced settings where you can set up things like a contact form. You can do a giveaway. You can do an opt-in form as well that is for the paid version or higher and so much more. See all these blocks that you can use. They even now have WooCommerce integration, so it makes it easy to set something up with your store. We can just make some quick changes and then we can move on. You can remove the images and you can either upload images of your own or using stock images. If you are a pro or higher, they are, they have millions of stock images that you can use to pull in on your site. I'll just add an image real quick and that looks pretty good. I'm happy with the maintenance page that I've set up. You want to come up here and click save. Once you save it, you can also click here to publish it and we can see it live. The final thing that you need to do is you also need to go and turn on and make it active. So let's get out of here and it will take us back to our seed prod area. You see that maintenance mode, we need to set it to active. So I'm going to toggle that. And if we go to our site in incognito or once we're logged out, then now we see the maintenance mode site. Now, once you turn that on, there's a few other things that you can do. Let's go back into the edit mode. For instance, you can make the whole website under maintenance mode. You can do this for only a certain page if you want, but you can go to page settings and go to access control. And under pro settings, this is where you can set things up. You can allow people to bypass the maintenance mode area with a URL. So you could add something at the end. You can also bypass by roles. So different roles who are signed in and logged into your website, they can access it as well. And you see down here, you can choose to do the whole site, homepage only, or certain URLs that you can do. So these are some really cool features to allow different access to different people based on who they are or what URL they're accessing. Now method two is also by using a plugin called WP maintenance mode. And let me show you how to do that. Okay. I've removed seed prod and we can add WP maintenance mode. So to do that, you can go to plugins, add new, like we did before. 
In the search bar, we want to look for WP maintenance mode. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click install now. We'll also want to stick around to activate this plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, we want to head over to settings, WP maintenance mode to make our changes. From here, you can choose how to activate it, deactivate it. If you want to bypass for search engines, you can say yes or no. For this, we're going to say, yes, let's activate this. I would say you would want to allow bypass for search bots because you don't want Google to not be able to access your site when they want to. And you can choose all of these others as well. I'm going to change safe settings and then we can go to the design tab to design our maintenance mode. I'm going to click on the design tab. This will be the title. This will be the heading. This is the text that you want to add. You can do some color. You can even upload an image here if you want or choose one from your media library like we did earlier and set everything up. Make sure you save changes and then we can move to the next item. And now under modules, this is cool because if you're, if you know how long your site is going to be in maintenance mode, you can do a countdown timer and let them know when it will be back up. Or if you're doing like a coming soon page, you could do that. It would work for that as well. If you want to show subscribers, you can do that as well as some social networks. If you want to show a little bit of social proof for your website, you can even add all of those here. Cool thing is you can even use Google Analytics so you can see how many people are coming to it while it is in maintenance mode. And for GDPR, you can en enable IP anonymization if you want. Don't forget to save settings. And under manage bot, you can turn on a chat bot if you want that will set up these customized questions and responses. And then if you did turn on sign up form or something like that, then you have the GDPR tab that you can set up and activate so that it's doing everything to comply with G GDPR regulations. And once we've done all that, we can set this up and this is in maintenance mode. So now we can go to our website in incognito and see it set up. And the cool thing is you can tweak this however you need it to look for your website. But those are two main methods that you can do. Now, if you want to get more into landing pages and doing sales pages for your site, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to set up a landing page for your website. And I'll see you over there.